month has passed since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and the whole world including Russia, is accepting Russia's failure in the face of the strong resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces. According to the Ukrainian General Staff Russia lost more than 100 aircraft and nearly 600 tanks while using more than 1,000 missiles many of which were destroyed by the Ukrainian air defense. The strong resistance of Ukraine is witnessing new firsts on the front the Russian Utter-21 Tachka missile, launched from the Luhansk region was intercepted by the Ukrainian army with FIM-92 Stinger man pets. This is a first shooting the rocket which moves at close altitude with a shoulder-fired system has also been recorded as a huge improvement while it is usual for air defense systems to destroy missiles. Hitting guided missiles with man pads is a great success in Ukraine achieved this with us made anti-aircraft missiles. On the other hand Russia officially admitted that its first one month in Ukraine was unsuccessful. In general the main tasks of the first stage of the operation have been completed Colonel General Sergei Rudskoy the first deputy chief of the general staff of Russia told a briefing on Friday. The combat potential of the Ukrainian armed forces has significantly decreased which allows us I emphasize again to focus the main effort on achieving the main goal the liberation of the Donbass. From Rudskoy's words it seems that Russia's advances stopped around major Ukrainian cities such as Kiev and Kharkiv. Russia also failed to gain air superiority over Ukraine and has suffered heavy personnel losses since the invasion began.